I've got this nice vintage lawn chair, but as you can see, the webbing is pretty faded. So I picked up some new webbing, and I'm gonna replace the webbing, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Okay, we're not gonna need very many tools for this job. Obviously, we need some new webbing, which some hardware stores still carry this. You can also find it online. A pair of scissors, a tape measure, or a yardstick, and you might need a screwdriver. If you look where the webbing attaches to the frame, you might find screws, in which case you'll need a screwdriver. Uh, that style is actually easier to work with than this style, where we have clips attaching the webbing to the frame. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to do that, but I will point out places where the screw style is a little different than this. If you have the screws, you can just unscrew the screws to get the old webbing off. I don't, so I'm gonna have to cut it off. And then just undo the clip. We wanna save those clips. I also wanna point out how these clips are in there originally. You have your length of webbing, bend it in half, and then the clip itself is just shoved through that I'm just going to lay my two pieces together and measure how long of a new piece I'm going to need to cut. Then I'm going to cut a new piece of webbing, the same length as the old one, remembering to leave a little extra for that. I'm going to take the old clip out, making note of the orientation of the bend. So the bend is back towards this. Take that out. Take the new webbing, gonna fold it over about an inch. Push that right through. This is the back of the chair now. And I'm gonna take the webbing, fold it over like that, put the clip into the hole, and bring it tight around the front. And keeping this tight, I'm gonna weave it through the old webbing. You can remove all the pieces and then start fresh, but I like to kind of keep them all together. When you get down to this metal bar, make sure that you go under that bar with all of the pieces. Otherwise the chair isn't gonna, it's not gonna sit right, it's not gonna fold up properly. When we get to the end, we wanna make sure this is really tight and you want to repeat how it was put in before with the clip. This is kind of tricky, got to keep it tight. Okay, there we go, that's one down. If your chair uses screws, what you'll do is you'll make a triangle, and then make another triangle, and then you'll just put your screw right through the center of that. It's actually quite easy. I'm just gonna continue replacing these. I've got the vertical webs done, now it's onto the horizontal. And here's the chair finished. I think it looks pretty good. Well, there you go. Wasn't too hard. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to keep up to date with my newest videos. Thanks for watching.